everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming to you once again from Carcraft Classics. Got this beautiful 1978 Z28 to show you. But before we get started on that, I want to tell any of you watching one of my videos for the first time, this is Carcraft Classics. We're located at 321 Canton Road in Cumming, Georgia. 30040. We're about 30 miles north of Atlanta. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977 and my cell I'm the owner again my name is Phil and uh, I can be reached at 770-317-1415 email for the shop is carcraftclassics at gmail.com and be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com I want to ask like I do on all my videos for you to give me a big thumbs up and like the video and subscribe to our channel if you're into uh, classic cars and we also sell cool neon signs, wheel and tire packages, all kinds of neat stuff for the classic car and truck enthusiast. So check us out. All right, today's video is spotlighting this super slick, super gorgeous, locally sold 1978 Camaro Z28. Late model seat, second generation, I should say, Z28. It is in immaculate condition. Before we get started on the car, and I have a whole host of things to talk to you about on the car, but before we get started, I want to talk about all the little stuff that comes with it. And there's quite a bit of stuff. So this car was sold originally here in our town, Cumming, Georgia, at a local Chevy dealer called Andine Chevrolet. Look them up on the internet. They're still in business, rocking and rolling. But uh, it's not every day that we get a car that is sold locally that we're able to sell again down the line. So we're real proud of it. And the car is in spectacular condition, as I mentioned. And it's been in the South its whole life. It's been a Georgia car. And I do have a title for the vehicle, just in case you're concerned about that. Some of the old cars we don't have titles for, but uh, this particular one I do. All right, so let's start with the paperwork. As I mentioned, the car was sold originally locally, and there is the original odometer statement and buyer's order from Andine Chevrolet. It's unbelievable. Never have that. So that's awesome. We also have the build sheet. It shows us all the options and standard features of the car when it first was manufactured by General Motors. We've got a whole bunch of receipts. The car under underwent what I would call a light restoration over the past four or five years uh, looks like the car has been painted although I don't have paperwork on that but this paperwork here shows us the carburetor was remanufactured the AC was all gone through and a bunch of parts were replaced they went through the brakes plugs and wires they did a whole bunch of stuff to this car over the past four or five years that have it starting running and driving just excellent all right we also have the owner's manual check out what else I've got I've got the original warranty that was given to the original owner. I've got the maintenance schedule. I've got old receipts. Unbelievable. And this gentleman that bought the car was able to get actually a brochure for the car with the same Z28 on the cover in that factory, what they call camel metallic color. It's kind of like a copper. It is gorgeous. You can look that up on that build sheet. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. He got a brochure for it, and I have it here. It goes with the car. Now, as far as parts, it looks like they bought a whole bunch of parts for this car. Uh, some were installed and some were not. I have some, a lot of new parts here. Those are rubber gaskets for the doors, for the trunk. Let's see what else we have here. We have the console lid for the middle console where you rest your arm in case you need one down the line. Got a brand new gauge bezel. That's the plastic that goes over the gauges, clear plastic. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. We've got a dash clock. We've got a lamp, a lens for one of the dummy lights, I'm sure. We've got a speedo, a tack, another lamp, a lens housing. We've got a volt gauge, We've got a defrogger switch. We've even got an extra fuel door for you and a set of tail lights. So I would imagine somebody went to town on the internet one day and bought up all these parts from Original Equipment Reproduction Group and uh, decided to keep the old ones. And as you'll see as I walk around the car, 
they are in great shape. But all of this stuff, all the provenance, uh, AKA the paperwork, and all these parts will go with the vehicle when it sells. All right. Now, let's talk about this beautiful car. Absolutely love the color. It's undergone at least one repaint. I mean, I can tell just looking at it, the paint looks too nice, too mint, too fresh to be original, in my opinion. It's in great shape and it is a metallic color. As I mentioned, it's kind of a copper. That shade of, of copper plus the metallic, man, it really dances in the sunlight. Looks great. Grill, headlights, everything working, looking great. Under the hood, looks like they added a few new things. That to me looks brand new, the radiator. Uh, cool and overflow tank. The windshield washer tank. The brake booster looks as if it's been replaced. The block actually, the paint on the block looks fresh. I don't have any paperwork to show that it's been pulled and rebuilt, but I wouldn't be surprised. I've had a few of these Gen 2s and they weren't this clean under the hood. Now it's very possible it just was well taken care of and, and not rebuilt, so I won't, I won't uh, confirm that because I don't have the paperwork, but it appears to me the way it runs and drives and, and looks that somebody pulled it and detailed it and probably rebuilt it, but the carb underneath looks brand new. I do have paperwork on that, as I mentioned before. That has been rebuilt and the AC has been gone through. Orifice tube and some other parts have been replaced and the AC is blowing ice cold. Looks like that relay back there is new as well. Compressor, I guess that could pass for new. I'm not really sure. Don't have any paperwork, but it does blow ice cold. Those valve covers are not factory, so somebody went with a more stylish, better looking valve cover on that car, on that motor. And it is a 350. You can see some of these stickers were replaced on the core support. And the one on the air cleaner, I do have a receipt back there for that. Looks like that was replaced. So this was somebody's baby, and boy, did they have a lot of fun with it. And now it's available for sale. All right, what else did they do? They went through the brakes. I have some receipts for brake parts. Looks like they uh, upgraded the brake system. I mentioned to you the AC and the carburetor. It is a 350 car. 350 cubic inch V8. And here's the kicker. You ready for this? She's a four speed. Four speed manual transition uh, transmission. I've had a few of these late model Gen 2 Camaros and I absolutely love them because they're kind of from my age. Graduated high school in 86. This car was cruising the roads about that time and I was drooling wishing I had one and guess what now I do. But none of the cars that I've had, these late Gen 2s, was a four speed and everybody called me, is that a four speed, is that a four speed? Unfortunately I had to tell them it was an automatic until this one. The two or three previous were automatics. This one is a four speed. Finally got my hands on one. Car is gorgeous. Paint is in excellent condition. Easily a nine out of 10. And I might even put it nine and a half. I haven't found any flaws yet, but I'm sure they're there. My son, AKA the Carnuba Kid, came in this weekend and did a fabulous job. Detailing the car, He's got it looking real spiffy and clean. All the light bezels, badging, pinstriping on the hood, everything's in real good shape. It's like some of the trim around the front windshield and rear windshield has been blacked out. Kind of a cool look. It's got those classic turbine wheels. Painted to match the car with the raised white letter BFGs. Got to have those. Rubber is great, does not need a set of tires. It's not dry rotted and plenty of tread left. 1978 Z28. Super, super cool. Love the color. You don't see it every day. The metallic paint quality is excellent. And depending on what angle you're looking at it, 
It changes from a lighter to a dark, darker color. Got the classic Z28 wheels, as I mentioned. Man, she is gorgeous. And the interior is just as nice as the exterior. I'll show you that in just a moment. There's that back windshield. Look at that paint. Miles deep and gorgeous. Like a copper metallic. On the build sheet, it's described as camel metallic. The car is just as clean underneath, and if you want to see undercarriage pictures, give me about 24 hours after I post this video. I'll have pictures of the undercarriage on our website, carcraftclassics.com. Got the factory spare. No surprise with this previous owner being such a uh, perfectionist with paperwork and things. See the quarters appear original. Hopefully, you can see that in the video. I know there's a lot of shadows. Quarters have not been cut. Let's see if I can show you the trunk floor. I've got the speckle paint from GM. All appears to be factory. I don't think this, this car has seen much rain at all. Never mind rust. When I was underneath the car, when I was strapping it down to the trailer, I'm looking at that little, that 10 bolt back there, you know, the rear end. And even the tag that shows you, that reminds you to use the correct fluid, the little metal tag that they uh, attach to the rear end when they put the cover on, even that is there. And it's legible. It's not beat up. So it's got a posi rear end in it. Again. Up front, you got the 350 V8, four speed manual transmission, 10 bolt rear end, posi rear end. Car is pinned straight, the gaps are right. This is an investor investment grade vehicle, there's no question. These have jumped majorly in value over the past two or three years since I've been buying them. Uh, it's unbelievable. But one that's pin straight, rust free, gorgeous, with all this provenance, the condition being through the roof, exterior, interior, and underneath the hood and the undercarriage. And this vehicle will only gain in value as time goes on. I don't see any bubbles in the paint at all. For those of you that know, I appreciate you being a fan of our YouTube channel. But for those of you that uh, that don't know this already, you know, this is not a used car lot. And I'm not trying to disparage anybody else's business. I'm not. But what our goal is, we're out there looking for the best of the best. We're not looking for high turnover. We're not looking for high volume, I should say, as far as selling vehicles. We're trying to sell unique, one-of-a-kind, rare vehicles, whether the rarity comes from the make and the model or the rarity comes from the condition, in this case, the Z28. Yes, you can find them out there. But try to find one with all the extra parts, all the provenance, the paperwork, and in this condition, good luck. So that's what we try to do here. We're not trying to pump out a high number of vehicles we're trying to bring you the best of the best and I gotta say this one we nailed it this car is sharp so if you always wanted a late model gen 2 Camaro Z28 stand up and take notice because this is your chance to own possibly one of the best ones in the country
All right, let's take a look inside because it's just as beautiful as the exterior. Proud to show it off. I'm not sure if it's the original interior. I wish I could say yes, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's in excellent shape. seat covers. It's got the buckets, of course, with the middle console. Take a peek in the back seat here. Seat covers in excellent shape. Package tray back there in excellent shape. Headliner, not drooping, not hanging down. Interior light does work. Backs of the seats in great shape. Middle console. Not all torn and tattered. Like I said, over there, we're going over the parts. You do have a new cover. Check out this ride. Again, new gauge bezel, new gauges sitting over there on the counter. They do come with the car, but this one's in great shape. Dash is not all sun-baked and cracked. It's in great shape. Thank goodness they left the standard factory stereo in here. And it does work. I'll show you that in just a moment. Gauges are in working condition. I think I even have a new clock over there. Windshield wipers, I tested those a moment ago. As I mentioned to you earlier, the air does blow ice cold. Got the red Z28 badge in the center of the steering wheel. Just to give you that real late 70s or 80s feel. This thing is cool. factory sound for the exhaust nothing no super big cam or any kind of upgrades to the engine just kind of sounds factory but she is a four-speed manual thank goodness again clearly you guys made it uh, you guys and gals made it uh, clear to me that you wanted a four-speed when I had those others so I'm just glad to have one Especially one in this condition. New set of car mats. There's that four speed, baby. Who wants a near perfect 1978 Camaro Z28? I know I do. can't tell I'm proud of this one all right so there she is 
1978 Camaro Z28 with a 350 four-speed manual trans 10 bolt rear end in immaculate condition again investment grade condition tell you with that copper it's almost like a candy if you look on the, the body lines how it changes color with the sunlight absolutely love it got the USA one plate right up front <clears throat> all right so there she is again my name is Phil my cell number is 770-317-1415 just let me know if you have any questions you want to uh, schedule a test drive just let me know and remember we have partnered with JJ best so we can uh, JJ best bank that is we can help you with financing we can help with shipping and any light customization let's say you want to change the wheels and tires or something like that we can help get the wheels and tires for you have them installed before we ship it to your driveway now, the most important thing that you want to know, I'm sure you're all waiting to hear, what's the price? And we're desperately trying to keep all of our cars, our classic cars and trucks, in the affordable range so the, the average man, woman, or even kid can afford a classic. We need more of these out on the road. So we're trying not to, so they speak, so they say, uh, ask an arm and a leg for the vehicle, but... We do need to keep the doors open and it's not cheap finding these vehicles, sifting through all the, let's say not as nice vehicles out there and finding and bringing to you, uh, again, the rare, the super clean, classic cars and trucks out there. So anyway, the asking price in this vehicle is $27,500. $27, and again, we can help with financing, shipping, light customization. Just give me a holler, 770-317-1415. Thank you so much for watching the video. As I mentioned earlier, it'd be great if you could give us a thumbs up down below. Maybe subscribe to our channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks again. And God bless America.